Hey, what's going on guys? Biscuit Rebellion here, and I'm back with some Bioshock 2 walkthrough. I am in front of Ryan Amusements, which pretty much where I left off. I can't remember exactly, because I didn't even look at the Part 6 video, so we might as well just head on in and see what's up. I mean, so far in the story, we already met Telemban, we met Augustus Sinclair. Well, we didn't meet him face to face, but we actually talked to him, so... Awesome, we met two cool people. And we met one bad person, which is Sophia Lamb. Which, judging by this picture, we will be reborn and she is our salvation. I guess she's, what, the messiah in Rapture? I guess, I'm sure. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the no. people she will ultimately no. save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. So wait a minute, is in this recording Sophia Lab afraid that her daughter is going to surpass her? I, I don't quite get how that's a bad thing, but apparently, judging by the way how she talks about it, it kind of is a bad thing. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Apparently, the sky's the limit. <laughs> wow, so... Okay, so I guess Augustus is planning on escaping with me. Awesome. Get to, co get to ride with a companion. Finally. <laughs> Seriously. I remember part one, it was just you alone, for some oddball reason. Alright, rivet gun damage, rivet gun clip size, drill efficiency, or drill damage. I go with clip size on this one. Might as well, you never know when you're going to need a bigger clip size in situations. So, let's a go. The old sheepog or something. I was like hired that. to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Wait, wait. Ah, oh, I guess she's with a big daddy, damn it. Ah, screw her. I don't need her. Ooh, a ticket. Oh, nice. That was the whole point. Really? Jam Dan. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Oh, thank you for breaking that. I actually wanted that gun. <laughs> I remember in the ori original Bioshock, you get to use these two weapons. Don't know why I can't use a pistol. Well, I guess this thing over here, this thing counts as a pistol, I guess, because it seems like a pistol, I don't know. Listen up! Chopper! You get yourself pimp! No fuck ups this time! Get no fuck ups this time. Oh, oh, the freaking big daddy you got to Apparently just need to be license. Look how it's got the machine gun. I mean, do the math. Not only that, I have high-tech armor, apparently. 
or at least scuba diver ar armor, and I have freaking powers, like electricity and telekinesis. Come on, do the math. There's no way you're gonna beat me. I mean, it's not even funny. It's just plain obvious. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please. That's the first time somebody has actually gave me a gene sample as a free sample. Wow. Or gene thing as a free sample. Wow. You get to manipulate your genes for free. Apparently. Let me get that. And... Eh. Wait, let's see what's in these crates. Just a few dollars and what crap? <laughs> Ooh, a corpse. Money. What else? Oh, we got this thing. Uh, ooh. Don't need that. Wait, before I start buying, let me hack. And there we go. Alright. That. Got that. And I'm gonna need money for my machine gun here. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, crap. <laughs> Stupid. Why why can't you just uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess she didn't notice. I was going to say why not just run away because I got a freaking big ass drill on my hand, but apparently she didn't see me, so I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Until you arrive, father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. Okay, smuggling gifts. What is this? Drill power. Oh, nice. I'm actually using your drill right now. And a recording. All right, let's hear it. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. -dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. I'm just guessing by the... I don't know, by the randomness of this tape that Sophia was alone most of the time. Not Sophia, um... She made her daughter alone most of the time. I have no re... I have... You know, no idea why, but oh well, it's her daughter. I can't do anything about it, except probably rescue her from her. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do, but to get to little sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. All right. So apparently, I gotta defeat the big daddy. All right. So let me let me set up some traps here. Just in case he goes crazy. Alright. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Damn, that thing can take it. Wow. Oh, almost there. Yeah. Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. You know, I find that kind of messed up, especially if, let's say, that's really her actual daddy. I just kill her and then apparently I pretend to be her own. Those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but 
Could Cindy have become one of those 